Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to make this floral butterfly. It's very popular right now. We're going to start with the black color using three strands. Here I put it out one by one. It's easier that way. And I do use a threader. Tie a knot at the end. And let's begin. Basically, it's just to fill in all the blanks using 7 stitch. With black color, you don't have to worry about any mistakes. If you feel it's not perfect, you can always add another stitch to cover your mistake. And I try to keep all my stitches horizontally. So then no matter how the pattern is, uh, I can still keep the stitches kind of even. Here, I come back and make two long stitches. And then continue on the edge. The same, two long stitches. And when I finish, usually just make two tiny stitches pull out the needle again and make a cut. Don't worry about making a knot, it won't fall off and it will be covered by the new stitches. Continue. Don't forget to leave some blank areas for the other colors and here we're going to use back stitch to make an outline. Whenever you go to a very curvy line, try to keep your stitches very short. Do the same for the body, keep the stitches horizontally and then change to another color. I like to start from the middle because when the area is kind of big, I like to separate it into half. That makes it slightly easier. For this part, it's quite long, so it's not recommended to use a satin stitch. We're going to separate it into half and use long and short stitches. Like its name, you just make one stitch longer and then another stitch shorter. You might need a little bit practice on this if you are really a beginner but it's really not that difficult. Here I'm going to show you the whole process of this. Okay, the first part is done. Now we begin the second part.
follow the pattern and fill all the blanks. That's basically what you need to think about. Filling the blanks. Now pull out one strand. How to make a knot is to hold the needle at the end. Make two turns. Okay, remember to hold, hold it tight with your left hand and pull with your right hand. Then you have a knot. Making few stitches here to make an outline. Now for the flowers. You can start from the flower or the leaves, but here I start from the stem using outline stitch. All right, I decided to start from this big flower here using three strands to make satin stitch. My notice I cover part of the pattern. Don't panic, it's just much easier this way. You can always add few more stitches later when you finish. This is another thing I like to do, use the needle as a brush. Once you finish with all the petals, we will add few stitches on top of it, kind of randomly. Just try to keep them in different lengths and don't make it too even. And in the middle, we are going to use three strands to double. That makes it six strands. Pull it out and then make a loop. Put your needle in the middle of the loop and pull. I'll do it again slowly. Remember to use both of your hands and keep tension on your left hand. You might need a little bit practice, but I figure out this way it makes French knots much easier and much faster. Now we are changing to three strands and fill in all the blanks in the middle with French knots. Do the same for other flowers. For the leaves, we are going to use leaf stitch. This is one of the very basic stitch you will need to learn. And once you learn it, you can use it for all kinds of leaves. Keep switching sides, one stitch on the left and then one stitch on the right. For those big leaves, we are going to add a little bit more colors on it. And then make an outline in the middle. Use satin stitch to make other flowers. This DIY kit is available in our website. Link is at the description below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this video. I hope to see you again. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.